surprise, surprise, there is a lot of work involved in making this type of cabin sole. After laminating the main strips in, it was time to fill in the missing parts. It will receive the end of the second of those planks. It's all going to be the same grain matching it up with this end. I can see that I can shuffle this around a bit. Whoa, there you go. Seven panels, mostly done. Goodness me, that really does change the look of things. Well, now that I've actually had a good start on all of the panels, all of the main panels that is, where I've started with the solid timber laminated inlay, I now have extra bits to continue on with and <laughs> more fun. This is great fun. I really enjoy this. I'm just working on this corner here and I've cut out a bit of white beach and a little strip and I'm actually being very careful to have the grain from the same plank run through the boat so this piece here runs off from where this panel joins the other panel through the saloon area that'll go on there nicely so what I'm going to do is adhere this with the epoxy now that's only a small piece so a couple of little clamps on that will do the job and then I can continue on with the larger areas matching up the rosewood to get the grain all flowing one to another. Now with that section here which you can see that actually protrudes into the saloon area underneath the table and then there's another smaller panel which joins that going back to the saloon seating where it returns and the batteries will be stored. Because that's actually a section that's going to be underneath the table and I've used up all of the runs of planks that I had for going right through the whole boat, I'm actually going to change the grain and give it a different look. So what I'll do is I'll actually get another plank and I'll start there and then as I say that will run into the other piece to give it one section which is all in the same grain. This is quite rewarding just filling in these little pieces and getting the panels finished. can say that I'm very very pleased with how these are coming up. These little fill bits that I'm putting in, getting the little tiny bits all 
staying in place and looking good is very very satisfying I can say and I just continue now I feel like I've got some experience so press on and get them completed Well, this is the last panel to be laminated with the rosewood and the beach. It's the V-Birth cabin sole piece, which is the last panel that at the moment I have made up. I do have two more panels to do, one on the starboard aft area and one on the port aft area. I'm going to move on and make those up once I've got this set up so that I can keep the ball rolling and make all of the cabin sole up in one go. I had thought about leaving that to later, but really I've set myself up and I've got a good process going, so I'm just going to keep rolling with it. Just to make mention, as I explained earlier, the rosewood that I've used to go from the bottom of the companionway all the way through to the end of this forward V-berth panel is in two planks. At the time that I got those rosewood planks cut up, I cut up four and two of them were very, very similar. Now with this panel, as I say, it will receive the end of the second of those planks, which means that it's all going to be the same grain rolling through into this one. However, there's probably about half of the panel which I need to fill in as well. It's great because I've got cutoffs from the first plank that I can actually hopefully use to make up all of this. Meaning that with this panel, the pieces that I put in will be very similarly coloured and have a similar grain. And this is just part of a little bit of excitement, just laying things out to discover how is this going to unroll and look. So let's see how it looks. I've just laid these all down. Now from here onwards, it's a continuation of what's coming from the saloon, so they will match up. I can see here though that there's a, 
quite a mix of colour and this is from the other end of the plank basically and what I've done is I've had everything numbered as you can see here on the end grain here I did the same with these ones so they are actually running according to how it was on a prior panel but matching it up with this end I can see that I can shuffle this around a bit so that it just flows with colour from one to the other. You can see here this is a darker brown compared to this one, lighter, and yet these ones here have that similar sort of dark browny, almost a little bit of red with the black flecks that these pieces here have. So what my idea is, is to take these three out, these four here, shift it across, and then these ones I'm going to reorder so that this one goes onto the outside and these two butt up to this one here. Probably confused you, but let's have a look. So how does that look? Does that look better? Because I think it does. This one, in fact, hang on a minute. Is that actually, it is. That's very interesting. So this here is actually part of closer to part of this you can see the grain my goodness that is actually the same piece there that is fascinating <laughs> well there you go so this is the sort of joy little joys along the way so discovered that this is going to flow on very very sweetly i think so let's prepare it to be glued up There you go, seven panels mostly done. As you've seen, I've trimmed up all the edges with both the circular saw and the trimmer. There's a couple of things yet to do, but on the whole, that's those panels made up. And just to interrupt, there's a pair of beautiful wedge-tailed eagles. I see them here sometimes. Anyhow, back to the boards. The plan now is to put them back in the boat just to make sure that everything is looking good. Any minor adjustments with trimming or whatever may be the case, I'll attend to. And then the next thing is to get the tops all leveled off. And what I'm going to use for that is a belt sander. So the belt sander is just a much better tool for a broader surface to get things flat and it's quicker too. <laughs> face to face the 
can you look in to my eyes? This is me and I will be no one else. So gotta stop the game before you lose it. Gotta let me live my life if you wanna keep this fire. Goodness me, that really does change the look of things. It's a significant change in the look of things to come, I think. The white beach is all lining up as was the intention. So that's come off well. There's a few things to do, a few little trimming adjustments to do, and one mistake actually. I'll get to that in a moment. There's just about three millimetres to trim off of the first panel when you step in. That's why that's sitting a bit high. On that same panel, I made the fatal error of, on my ruler when I was in the run of measuring the distance for the fence to clamp down for the circular saw, I went 128 and a half instead of 123 and a half, five millimeters difference. So I took a little bit of a chunk out of that panel, which you can see. I rescued the offcut, so it's going to be the same grain, and so epoxy glue that little bit on. I will repair that, and I think it's worth doing. The other one is the forward cabin. You can see where that panel is just sitting high. The reason for that is a simple one, which is just that I haven't trimmed back the rosewood to go around the bolts that are going through the bulkheads. It's actually being done on the plywood. I just haven't done it yet on the rosewood, so that will be an easy one. The main cabin sole, which goes from the companionway through to the V-berth, is all in two planks. And hopefully you can see where that grain just runs from one panel to the next, to the next, to the next. And I really do think that going to the trouble of making sure that all of those panels followed on one from the other will look fantastic once they're epoxy coated and then polyurethane top coated for the durability. It'll all be clear so you will see all of this beautiful grain in all of its glory. So then on the other side of the main passageway here in the saloon area there's quite a different grain look. It's not the straight grain that's typical of rosewood. It's a little bit swirly and very unusual, actually. Tim had actually mentioned it has a slight tiger wood look to it, which I'm not sure that it goes that far, but it does have quite a different swirl to it. So I kind of like that. It's different and it's going to clear up different once it's epoxy coated. The other thing is I'll be using that same rosewood in the nav area and so that will sort of differentiate that panel back there. It'll be quite clear that that's a different grain and I sort of think that that's a nice idea. I've done the same with the port cabin where that cabin sole will go back. It's also made of a plank the same as the galley panel but it's actually redder, so again, that will sort of stand out. So I kind of like that idea. I've broken it up so that there's similar grain where the panels roll from one to the other. Then where there's those separate areas, they're going to have their own look to it. Anyhow, it's come up as I hoped. The next thing will be to get them all sanded off nice and flat. The next thing after that is I'll use the trimmer with a bull nose bit on it and go around all of the edges and round them off. Then they'll be ready for the epoxy coating process. Gotta let me live my life If you wanna keep this fire So in the next episode, I get the last of the cabin sole made up 
So it took a bit of time to get this to fit actually. I just want to complete the whole lot so that it's behind me and I don't have to come back to it. And wow, even I am impressed. I hope that you can join me then. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell and share. I'd really, really appreciate that.